Hello guys, HT here. Uh, welcome to All Human School. Today we are here in uh, Zoo Nagara, okay, in Uluklang in KL. Wow, I haven't been here for so many years. Remember coming here as a boy, a little boy with my family, uh, maybe 30 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, I don't know. Uh, so good to be back here today. Uh, it's a Saturday uh, and, and a day that we are bringing the refugees to the zoo. They've never been here. Uh, the shelter boys are already in, so we sent one in and now I'm waiting for the group in Ampang, uh, our Afghan uh, friends. Okay, They'll be coming together with uh, uh, our partners in uh, El Shaddai uh, Refugee Centre. Anyway, as we are waiting for him, for them, just want to reflect upon um, the recent announcement of uh, our new PM. Yeah, thank God that uh, Anwar Ibrahim is now our new PM. So proud of him. Uh, if you know his story, if you do not, please Google. You know, uh, he's, uh, he shows forth a tenacity, a preser perseverance. Uh, you know, being put in prison for around a decade and after that, you know, coming out was Assistant Prime Minister for many times always the next in line to become PM but never got to it so everyone got their chance but he was uh, still there still fighting, still uh, still showing off the type of greed that we need in, in leaders so when 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 it was announced that Anwar finally became Prime Minister, I think a lot of Malaysians are very happy. Um, it's not really about uh, when he gets there, uh, it's, uh, how he got there uh, to become Prime Minister. His tenacity and his uh, perseverance, his love for the country and his, his job you know, as Prime Minister. So he's off to a good start, saying that he won't take a salary until something happens. Uh, and really very proud of uh, how, what Malaysians have achieved so far in terms of their political uh, uh, progress. Uh, yeah, I just want to reflect upon that. And yeah, I've been talking with the boys as well. So apparently they are not citizens, but they are all also very happy, very proud, uh, and very hopeful for the country. And another topic that we've been talking about uh, when I was in the car with uh, some of them, uh, we have uh, teacher Julia, one of our Singaporean volunteers in Song Kids, you know, who is here with us as well. So in the car, we also talk about not just politics, but about the World Cup. You know, recently World Cup just started, right? I didn't know about it. Uh, so, so I know there are some matches that have happened. And all of them commented, you know, how Asian countries, you know, Japan, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, Iran, you know, and uh, all, all, a lot of uh, Asian countries are doing quite well in the World Cup. Uh, so they are beating Argentina or, you know, I, I don't know which country, I cannot remember, but the Asian countries are doing very well. So, yeah, makes us all very happy and very proud as well, okay? Not that we are, have anything against the developed countries, Western countries, but yeah, it's about time that, you know, um, people who are seemingly weak, countries who are seemingly not as advanced, right, you know, have a chance to just rise up. Yeah, follow the example of Anwar, tenacity and greed, uh, perseverance, uh, integrity, and yeah, being true to the dream that we have uh, in us. So I wish uh, the Asian countries do well as well. Uh, and I think there's a coming match, uh, Iran versus uh, USA. We are whole watching for Iran. So, yeah, so it's just a lesson of uh, tenacity and, and greed in us. So I hope, yeah, that encourages you. So if you're feeling weak, you're feeling that, okay, post-COVID, uh, there's a lot of uh, things that is not in place. You feel that it's hard going, you know, please don't give up, you know, and just use all this everyday examples we see around us uh, of how greed, perseverance and integrity, character, you know, will really show, show forth if you, do not, if you do not give up. So with that, yeah, I hope they'll come soon. Uh, i see you maybe next time in Singapore, okay? Bye-bye.